Moving on to our top international story this hour, we are following some disturbing news out of the tech world. As this week, the Confederation of British Industry, or CBI, issued a warning about the future of microchips in the workplace. According to The Guardian, a British company has already fitted 150 implants in the UK alone. Biotech's chips, according to its website, quote, store a range of encrypted personal data from bank account details and passwords to medical data or Bitcoin wallet details. It is a passion that runs acres deep, but the future is uncertain for dozens of local dairy farmers. These producers have less than a month to figure out where they will send their milk. But if we don't have a place for our milk, there's no, we can't continue. Their milk is trucked each day to Grassland Dairy Products, who inform them in a letter Monday that will end this month. It's heartbreaking. I don't know. I mean, we, we worked day and night to get to where we're at. The couple is one of some 75 farmers who received the same notice and are scrambling to figure out what happens next. A heavy rain moving towards Northern California is expected to complicate the search for victims in the state's worst ever wildfire. 870 people in the affected area north of Sacramento are still considered missing. The campfire is now blamed for at least 81 deaths. Meg Oliver is just outside Paradise, California, where she spent the day with a woman searching for a lost family friend. Hers is a search multiplied hundreds of times over, with so many still missing, after the campfire devastated an area bigger than 115,000 football fields. We surveyed the damage with Cal Fire Operations Chief Josh Bishop. Hidalgo, Texas. Maria, good morning. Well, good morning. Here along the Rio Grande River, this is one of the spots where migrants used to cross into the U.S. illegally. But now there is this barbed wire fence. It's going to be used to actually fill the gaps where there is no border wall. It was installed over the weekend by about 100 U.S. military troops here in southern Texas. The U.S. government today pulled back the curtain just a bit on its system of shelters for detained immigrant children. More than 11,000 minors are being held in 14 states. Some arrived in the U.S. on a accompanied, others separated from their parents. Here's Chris Van Cleve. This newly released government video is giving us a glimpse inside a Department of Health and Human Services facility sheltering children who entered the U.S. illegally. It's the first look inside one of these shelters since the Trump administration instituted a zero-tolerance immigration policy in April that resulted in the separation of children from parents who illegally crossed the border with them. I just want to say Tyler the Creator is the best friend in the world and I love him so fucking much and I want to tell you guys something I want to tell you Tyler doesn't want to say but Tyler's my motherfucking boyfriend and he's been my motherfucking boyfriend my whole fucking life but it won't be enough to help a severe drought. 75% of the state is in an extreme or exceptional drought. The House passed a bill yesterday to address the water shortage. But as Bill Whitaker reports, the crisis is turning into a political football. With California in the throes of the worst drought in modern history. A, Washington, D.C. from three days ago, 114 warrants served across Maryland since red flag law went into effect in October. Uh, Montgomery County Sheriff Darren Popkin believes Maryland's new red flag law can save lives. That we've been able to achieve true immortality by taking your human consciousness and storing it on a device called a portable stack. 
It's implanted in the base of your neck and it collects and stores everything that makes you you. Every memory, every emotion, every sensation, everything you've ever experienced gets stored on this little device. She'll be available later this year for about $20,000. Nick Brannigan here from Health Conspiracy Radio, and I am here with my good friend, Vicki Lepage. And what we are doing today is uh, demonstrating that these popular children's cereal also has an ingredient that is the main ingredient in degreasing paint, trisodium phosphate. So we want to know how many people know that this toxic chemical is in all their children's favorite cereal. What do you think of the vaccination? You know, that's the, I have more concern about the vaccine than I do about the swine flu. It's been rushed to market. There are high levels of uh, adjuncts, which um, basically make it more potent, make so they can, uh, they, it's kind of an unrefined method that they use. They have to use high levels of these adjuncts, including thimerosal. It's, a, it's an antiseptic uh, preservative. And hasn't that been linked in some cases to um, mm -hmm. autism? It, it has, and you look, it's been shown to, to cause autism in children with mitochondrial dysfunction. Wildlife officials in BC are trying to figure out why dozens of birds literally dropped from the sky dead. Witnesses say they'd never seen anything like it, and as the CBC's Bell Puri reports, people are sharing their theories about what happened. Tonight, the California Highway Patrol is investigating whether an officer crossed the line when he repeatedly punched a woman during an arrest in Los Angeles. The altercation was captured on tape, and Terry Okita has the story. It happened during Tuesday evening's rush hour. Drivers traveling along one of LA's busiest freeways could see the Highway Patrol officer follow an unidentified woman across the on-ramp. Thank you. 